All right, Jamal, uh, back for spring ball. Uh, you know, another another season of uh, Jamal Williams. We didn't think 2016 would be in the cards for you, but what's it been like here in spring football for you? Uh, spring football has been pretty good right now. It's pretty much learning a new offense, and it's a, a great offense, too, at that. And they're just trying to make it just as easy as they can for us to learn the plays and get down with the, the formations and everything. So spring ball right now is going great. Obviously, with the new coaching staff, I mean, you're coming back, and you know the coaches that were here before have moved on. How has this new coaching staff embraced you specifically? Um, pretty much just with open arms, welcome me, and everything. And it's just, it's just funny. It's like we're both coming back. We're all coming back, starting over again. And Coach Reno, all the other coaches, they're all great. I love them all already. You know, they just make it so easy and and free and just everything's happy and and great so they just making football just great right now jamal williams is on byu sports nation jamal has the offense been installed have you have you seen the playbook in its fullest and gone through that or is it still being installed we, it's still getting installed we're taking it bit by bit we're not just giving it all they're not giving to us all like just here it is and learn it they're taking it bit by bit and they're going as slow, but not as uh, not as slow. If we pick it up quickly, they go on to the next thing. And if they feel like we're struggling, we work on the same concepts we've been working on, and then we'll go from there. So they've been doing a great job on showing us how to do the plays and everything. From your specific standpoint, what's the difference in this offense from the offense that uh, that you're used to? Um. Now, well, for me, honestly, I like being back seven yards and seeing the whole field and and knowing uh, exactly what's going on and, and the run plays is exactly runs and everything I, and everything. So I like it mostly for the pro style. It's more of a, a patient waiting for your blockers, setting your blockers up and helping them make holes for you. And it's it's a great offense for, for running the ball and passing and I just like how I feel like this one is a more everybody's helping everybody. Like everybody has to block a certain certain person so the play can go a certain amount of yards. Like I just like how everything is yeah, pretty much everything is just everybody working together and, and helping each other get uh what they need for, for the play. Jamal Williams on BYU Sports Nation. It's it's important to understand that playbook. It's also important to understand the guy calling the plays. Can you understand Ty and his Texas drawl, Jamal? Of course. Texas is it's just funny. <laughs> I never had a Texan accent before, especially like Texas Ranger type. It's just hilarious to me. I just smile. Like even when he's mad, it's just I, I take him serious. I take him serious all the time. But it's just his the accent. It's just it gets to me. So I like, I, like it makes me smile every time Coach Ty talks. It's just hilarious to me. Do you, do you have an impersonation of Ty when he's mad? Nah, mad? not yet. I would get it. You're though. working on it. Yeah. Okay. What is that like? I mean, there are there are a lot of people that believe Ty Detmer is the greatest BYU Cougar ever. When you found out that this is your OC and you get to be with him and he's teaching you this, what is that like? It's great. You get to learn from somebody who's won a Heisman, you know? Like, his picture is always there in the locker room, jersey, everything. And now he's here being the offensive coordinator for you. It's just great to have him here. And it's just great for, uh, like, the other players to know that we have a Heisman winner as our offensive coordinator. So everything he's telling us is things we can put into our game and, and learn from him. Jamal, what's this been like emotionally for you where you thought you were going to play, you know, in 2015 and then and then you don't, but you're back now? Um, you know, just come with the same mindset as well, what you came in for. for. Uh, when I was gone, just pretty much just working on getting back as fast as I can and getting healthier, stronger, faster, and everything I can to be the uh, greatest teammate I can be for my team. How's the knee feeling? It's obviously been you've had quite a quite a long time to get what you would hope to be as 100% healthy. Where are you at health wise, and where is the knee? I'm 100. Yeah, a year is good. A year is as good as it's ever gonna get for me to have off. So I'm good now. I'm just getting ready to get ready to play and help my team win. Where you at? Are you the youngest, like sort of fifth year senior in the history of college football? You said you're. You're not. You're still 20. You're almost 21. Yeah, next month I'll be 21. Next what? month. <laughs> yeah. 
That is crazy that you're still 20. I think so. You're, are you the athletic Doogie Hauser? Do you even know who that is? No. Who that? You don't even know oh, who Doogie Oh, you got to check so, out Doogie yeah. Hauser. Doogie Hauser. Okay. It was like yeah. a 14 year old doctor. It was like an 80s TV show. Yeah. Like no, he was a prodigy, was, like a was really it in young. Black and white? <laughs> no. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is y'all's time when y'all was uh, little, huh? Oh, my goodness. And it was black and white? For yeah. Sure. Do you know who Neil Patrick Harris is? <laughs> Do you know who that is? Yeah, 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 he was the one on uh, Harold and Kumar go to uh, yes. White Castle. Yes, he thing. was Doogie Howser. He was Doogie Howser when he was younger. Oh, so he was like 10? <laughs> he was well, he was 14 in there. I don't know how old he was, but yeah. So how do you, so are, is he older than y'all? Yes, is he, he older, is. Yeah, now, yeah he's yes. older than us. Yes. Like by how much? Like two years? I don't know how old he is, but he's younger than we are. I don't know. Yeah. Younger than I am. I don't know about Jason. Jason's he's younger than y'all? No, no, he's older than us. Older. Probably by f at least five years. Mm, okay, y'all ain't gotta. You ain't gotta justify. You guys are old. He's forty-two. I'm being told. Yeah, he's forty-two years old. So how old are you? Uh, old, old enough. Yeah, old enough. Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to answer. What is it? In the thirties. In the thirties. Yeah, thirties. Thirties. Late thirties. Just so much wisdom, Jamal. Man, y'all got a whole bunch of man. But, can you imagine me being thirty? No. That's like another ten years. My Jamal, mind, it's going to happen. Then. It's going to happen, Jamal. Man, I'm surprised y'all ain't got canes yet being at 30, honestly. <laughs> That's why we sit on this desk. I lean on it every day. The 20-year-old wise old man Jamal Williams is on BYU Sports Nation. What, what's it like to be a senior with this group that, I mean, initially when you came in, you didn't think you'd be here in 2016, but here you are. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a little weird, but it's just – I take it as just a, a great opportunity to – being able to keep playing and, and playing with the team that I love playing for and playing with my teammates who always had my back and just always welcomed me with um, um, ugh, warm arms and they just accept me for who I am and that's exactly why I love being on this team. When you look at this offense and realizing it's only week two of spring practice, with what you know and what the coaches have talked about, what's possible, how good do you think this offense specifically can be this year? I think this offense can be extremely good. Uh, just doing the things that we know that we can do, especially with the talent that we have and all the different type of things that we're going to be doing. It's just great to know that we're stacked. It's just up to us to play as a team and, and to execute. Jamal, we appreciate the time. Go look up who Doogie Hauser is, okay? For sure. Thank you, old timers. <laughs> Thanks, Jamal. <laughs> All right, see you later.